have no freedom of economic choice. You still have to give government your money. You still have to give up your property. You still have to pay your taxes. Because if you did have a freedom of economic choice and how best to spend your own money, government wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage if you didn't pay your taxes. Exactly. So this is how government is a moral then. This organization that calls itself the government then only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. So what are your I've, thoughts on that? I've come, in my experience, I've come to realize that violence honestly is not the answer unless someone inflicts violence upon you. The best way to handle a situation would be to communicate. If there is a problem between you and, say, a police officer or another person, and he's giving you shit and trying to take you down at gunpoint, the only thing that you can do at that point is, one, you could either break his wrist and take the gun away and risk landing in jail, or two, you could try to talk your way out of it and still wind up landing in jail because that cop is crooked. Because he's wearing a, a blue costume. Whenever mm -hmm. you wear a, this magical costume, apparently in, in today's society, uh, absolves you of any crimes. If you wear a blue costume, you can initiate force. You can kidnap people. Uh, for victimless crimes, you can throw them into a cage and threaten their life. It, but that is, I call, absolute and total bullshit. You should not have that sort of power just because you have a uniform and because you are a police officer. Right. Police officers are not granted that form of power. They are Their only right to us is to protect and serve. That they, is don't, they, can't, they don't even do that. Did they you know? don't. They don't. Supreme Court rulings, many judges have decreed that the police have no obligation to protect your life, liberty, or property. Winnie Bago versus Shaney County, many yeah. numerous other Supreme Court rulings have upheld the same similar findings, that there is no obligation from government to protect you. How do you feel about that? I feel that, honestly, if a police officer is going to take the vow to protect and serve, which is what they are supposed to do when they first start out the term as a cop, if they're to take that vow, that should be their solemn duty to the people while he is at work patrolling the streets. And yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I, I agree. But um, unfortunately, a lot of cops these days do not uphold that, even though they should. They uphold that they will enforce all laws. Which, and... is, which is bullshit, because a lot of the laws that they proclaim need to be enforced are virtually non-existent everywhere else in the world. Right. Like... If you go up to Canada or some shit, sure, weed is legal and everything there, and sure, everything, like, weed will probably be legalized in the next year or so, but why is it that they have it already instantly legalized, and we're still down in the dumps taking a decade to 30 years to legalize what is... It's been over 70 years now, man. 70 years. I mean, at that point, what, what do you think about that point? <clears throat> it's taken 70 years finally to get to that conversation, so to be legalized. At that point, it's like, so what? 70 years is not a measure of success to finally have a freedom to smoke a plant when we have lost so many other freedoms exactly. in this amount of time. I mean, marijuana is held on the same contrast as tobacco, and that is nothing but a mere plant. Right. And sure, tobacco will fuck you up and give you cancer, but weed... Apparently, certain studies show that weed can slow the growth of cancer and allow you to have a better attention span and all of this other medicinal usage and the government is like, no, we're not going to legalize this because we feel that it will make you do dumb shit. And I'm like, okay, so if I sit at home and smoke a bowl and chill and play video games, I'm doing dumb shit? All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a plant, right? Very, very aggressive. The cops will tear down your door aiming guns for you, acting there peacefully with a plant. A plant. Like, right. I'll be sitting there cross-legged in a yoga position, <laughs> hitting a bong, and, like, chilling out, talking to my girlfriend or some shit, and if a cop comes knocking on my door, I'm like, oh, shit, dude, I didn't mean any harm. Do you I'm know how many lives, countless of lives have been ruined by these police extortionists over a plant? It's I difficult know. these days for people to have jobs now if there's something like that on the record. You know, even though they may it's, pass it's all It's difficult the... for people to have a long-standing career just because... Because of that. Just because they have, like, 0.2 THC in their system. Like, really? If you drug test my ass right now just because of a hair follicle test, I'm not getting an Estes job or any form of trucking job or any form of, like, lawyer thing or anything well, I would like say, that. like, every other person here since yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally every single person on this campus right now probably smokes a blunt at least once a week, if right. not more. And it's sickening to me how we can't find employment because cops want to make such a huge deal out of something that does not allow you to act violently and literally 
puts you in a state of mind where all you want is to just sit down and chill. Right. That is it. That is the only thing. Well, if, if, if they had, if, well, the thing is, if they can't do that, what are, what are like, police resources going to do all day? Right? There's just nothing really else for them to well, do. <laughs> oh, well, tough shit for them. Like, if they're going to be bored all day, fucking go out to the interstate and attempt to catch somebody about, speeding. Uh, catch some of these uh, home burglaries that goes around. Uh, go after real crimes where there are real victims. Right? Go. Who are you victimizing when you, when you uh, smoke a plant? Nobody. Nobody. There's Half no the victim. time I have friends right there with me. Right. There's no victim. There's no victim. There is no crime. There isn't. Right? There really isn't. Everybody that smokes, I've known, is a relatively chill person and is nice as hell, right. in my honesty. And, and these rules, like the laws we're discussing, you never gave consent or an agreement to any of those rules. I didn't vote for this. No, no you never advocate. It's like if we were playing no. Monopoly or any kind of board game and all of a sudden someone says, here's the new rule right in the middle of the game or just uh, or just say, now you're going to play and here are the rules, but you never say, okay, I agree with that rule. Right? But then that's when you take open the handbook and you're like, huh, that's not in there. Fuck you. You're not placing that. <laughs> yeah, not, not in the handbook. Okay, so we could look in the handbook earlier and it's like um, something that a lot of people will say, like these laws come from the Constitution. However, but they don't. But they don't. But at the same time, the Constitution is not a handbook that you ever agree to anyway. It is a set of guidelines for the American people to follow. Right. That's why it was yeah, designed. It, it would be guidelines, right? It could be, uh, it could be something that you could take into consideration. But if you can create better rules, right, then that those would be your guidelines, like the mm -hmm. rules in your house and in your pad. Those are your rules for people to come in and visit, but they don't transcend across the river into my living room. Exactly. Right. They're, they're not <laughs> crossing boundaries and distances into another person's life. Right. And like a set of rules should be made specifically for that general area. If all of Richmond was to be, I don't know, say, imprisoned for drinking a beer on the sidewalk and having a fag, then we'd, we'd be pretty much fucked. I just had one earlier, and I could have easily been arrested. They say generally, on average, every person commits at least three felonies a day. A day. I wouldn't be surprised. Right. You'd, be su you'd be surprised how many times I've crossed through a stoplight on my bike and haven't right. been hit by a car or anything. Uh, people, be, people get beat down in other places across the country just for jaywalking. I know. It's, it pisses me off. What and do you think about like this conversation where we're recognizing this, the, the problems here? What do, what do you think about abolishing this organization called government and creating real rules? I think that, honestly, it's high time that America as a people do away with government and Congress and not have a specific person to run the country but allow us as a people to make our own damn choices. Oh my god, high five for that. <laughs> happy high five day, by the way. Oh, yeah, today's happy high five day. <laughs> and, that's, and that's exactly where uh, this conversation is leading to, heading to. Uh, and that, that we, we, we look at that no one has any authority to tell you what you can and cannot do with your life, what you can and cannot do with your property, with your body, right? The only mm -hmm. person who has any authority in that is you. Exactly. Right? You're the ultimate authority in, in, in how you want to live your life and how you want to interact with other people, right? And, and, the, and the only way that you should have any form of authority to interact with somebody else's life is if it's a family member. Yeah, we have and even then, it yeah. has to be like a son or a daughter or adopted person that you have in your household that should be abiding by those rules. Right, a lot of the stuff is kind of like, uh, even in wills, hey, if I'm in the hospital, you know, I'll let my sister decide for me, I'll let my mother mm -hmm. decide, right? Yeah, you, you can kind of transfer that sort of stuff in a and uh, consideration to others, right? Mm -hmm. And will and testimony, so it's absolutely. Um, so the area in which I want to talk about now, right, and the absence of government, what you have then is anarchy. Anarchy, though, not to be confused with a lot of people say disorder chaos. Anarchy just means without rulers, without politicians. We can have rules, real rules that we give We can have a set rules. of rules that we as individuals can follow. Right. But what we cannot have is people acting stupid because there are no leaders. Right, yeah, we can have leaders, uh, at least uh, like people who, people who lead kind of like uh, uh, people follow because of their virtue, because of their mm -hmm. merits, right? Not because they force you to or command you to or threaten you to follow you or bribe you. Or right? not because they have a specific seat of power or right. anything like that. Without political positions, there's no, uh, no one to rule over you. Exactly. Right? You can have uh, this regular, like if I go to a dentist, I, I see that he has a good authority understanding how to fix my damn teeth, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's because that is his job and that is what he is paid to do. Now, if somebody were to come into my community, say if we didn't have any leaders, and attempt to 
take a seat of power. He would have to go through so many other people because a lot of others have different ideas and want to pull those ideas together to create a set of rules that that community would want to follow. Right, exactly. So, beautiful, beautiful. So what ends up happening is you have thousands of such communities, free societies, free communities, based on consent. Mm -hmm. every, rule, every community has different rules. So you can follow, if you don't like cannabis, great. Here's a pamphlet of a community for people who hate cannabis. No one in that community will ever smoke weed. Go live there, right? Yeah. I'll cross the river. Here's a community where everyone loves it. Everyone smokes it every day. They have it with their morning uh, breakfast, you know, lunch, uh, dinner time, right? They have it during their <laughs> breaks at work and shit, too. Right, and, and those are the rules in that community. And mm -hmm. uh, and if you don't like it, there's there's all kinds of communities you can move into, right? Rich and diversity of different kind of preferences that matches your needs, right? It exactly. matches your, your preferences. And there's so many different communities that you can easily blend in with, too. But America wants... The government of America wants to see us as just one big pool of people right. that have no say in what they get to do with their lives or their careers or with their families. Right. And they just want to take over pretty much everything. You know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if America was really run by some separate entity. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it at all. There's just a lot of uh, conjoining interests out mm -hmm. there overall, right? There's, there's a lot of money to be made, right? The most valuable resources on this planet is not gold or oil. It's, it's other people. Right. To enslave them and to command them and to take away. You know how many days out of the whole year you work just to pay pay taxes over 100, over 101 days. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's that's your productivity. That's your happiness. That's things that like that's that's my lifestyle. That's a right lifestyle. There. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, am I, am I really OK with this? Like, why the hell should I have to pay taxes on a house that I have already paid in full? Sorry, property taxes. It's not your house. <laughs> no, no. Bitch, please. Right. I'm this, the this, one who signed the lease. Right. This this happens all the time to people. Uh, there was a guy in D.C. like a few years ago. He paid it off in full. He was retired. I guess he just didn't pay $153 in property tax. The D.C. government put a lien in this house, foreclosed it, and threw him off in the street. Here's, threw him off in the street. Here's something that will jog your noggin for a little bit. How is it that I have no insurance and I have no wish to have insurance because I am physically as fine as I can be? I'm in the best fucking shape of my life. We're young. And yet the government wants to charge me a $850 fee at the end of the year, specifically because I do not wish to have Medicare or Medicaid or any other form of insurance that falls through the government. Right. Why, why would I want any of that in my system? Exactly. All right, you just touched on a great, beautiful point. So the government says, well, we care about your health. Well, 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 stop. First, you have to value human beings first. You don't threaten other human beings with extortion. What happens exactly. if you don't pay that fine? They kick down your door and they'll throw you into a cage. So exactly. For your well -being. IRS will be like, hey, guess what? You didn't pay this fee for your health insurance. Fuck you, you're gone, bye bye. But don't worry, we care about your health. We care about it so much that we're gonna throw you into a cage to rot. Along and I'll be like, the other people in the room really? Right. Like, I'm, I'm sitting next to a fucking heroin addict that might inject my arm with some crazy shit that There's I There's a lot want. of my stuff coming around here in Richmond, yeah, lately. And I'm just like, all right, you know what? Fuck this. I might as well just go home and shoot myself in the head because this country sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but, but see, so, so we, we come to find the problem. Now, the thing is, wherever we run away to, like Canada, Mexico, wherever, the same problems we're going to find everywhere else, right? Uh, we're just running away from one cage to another cage, right? Because they still have political rulers. They still mm -hmm. have government. They'll still treat you as tax lakes. Um, I find that no matter how far away you run then, as long as government exists, you'll never have the freedom to be left alone if you wanted to. Then what the world as a whole needs to do is say, forget this. We are going to rebel against the government. Exactly. And have our own set of rules that we can actually live by and exactly. have a productive life. Exactly. Some people have the most amazing lives ever, and yet they're so held down by this fantasy that the government puts in young people's brains. They're like, oh, you know what the real American dream is? Having a house and a family and a nice paying career that'll make you a couple hundred G's a year. And I'm like, that's, that's not what happiness is. America was supposed to be the land of the free. The land of opportunity. And opportunity has gone out the window. Out the window. For every single generation that I have met. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I know kids that are twice as young as I am, and right now, they are fucked. They are currently questioning whether or not they even want to live in this country, or even with their families. But I'm like, I feel so bad for these people because they don't even know what's up. Right. I yeah. educate them a little bit, but I can't tell them shit because they're too young. Right. Man, you're singing music right into my ears, man. Funny, uh, because I actually do sing music. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so I'm part of an organization here called Liberate Our Ray. Liberate our, our community, Richmond, our families, our friends, our neighbors from this government tyranny, right? To In the pursuit of real freedom. Because I can't keep running away. I can't get my whole family to run away to other places or the tax farms where we're going to face the same problems again. At some point, we're going to have to draw that line here and have the courage mm -hmm. to stand up against that tyranny and evil wherever we see it, right? Mm -hmm. um, would you be interested in uh, checking out one of our uh, parties this Saturday? I, shit. If you're free, I actually have a meeting that I have to go to for my job from three to. It's seven. later in the evening, so after seven. What time? It's like uh, it starts like seven thirty. Okay, then yeah, I yeah. might be able to make it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. It's uh, I mean, if, if you don't have a car, we have people that come by here and pick up some other people here along the way. There. Is it in the city? Yes, yeah, in the city. Yes, yeah, nearby. Yeah. If so, then I can probably bike there. Is bike there? Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Here's a fly for us, Liberate RVA. Okay. I'm Cal. Paul. Paul, pleasure, man. Uh, Always. <laughs> this is, this Always is great, great, man. This is, this is awesome. This huh? video goes out to Johnny Richmond, my longtime friend and fellow champion of liberty, and also the guy who's been putting up together all the awesome outro music for these videos. And thank you so much, my friend, for helping me achieve my ultimate goal to bring out, to bring to you, to everyone out there, spreading anarchy video every weekday. That's my long-term ambition, uh, the place where I want to see myself at uh, eventually soon, and what will help bring about a free society in our lifetime. So if you guys enjoy this content, uh, please do subscribe up here. And for those that want to help me with my crowdfunding site, uh, check out the Patron account for for just that, for bringing freedom in our lifetime here as well. So with that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys at the victory party. Take good care. Follow the mental terrain, it takes a hell of a man nowadays to maintain garments blood stained, face bruised and battered, eyes reflect agony of dreams that were shattered and never mattered to the so-called general public about my nation's situation and how we rise above it and they love it. When we self-destruct and kill a home and the greater responsibility, yes, it's still our home. We should know by now that the system's designed for our demise. If we had wise, we'd be left behind. The dollar signs rule, but what about the fool who falls